Hello everybody and welcome to the Skyrim mod series episode 103 and let's go through this before my pizza gets cold you probably remember the mod flintlock riffle which we took a look at some time ago and the wall project returned and now it's called project flintlock riffle and you get that stuff when you go to this location here which by the way has this huge model of a drill there is a door and it's locked so we know what to do we are just killing everybody who is uh, in the near of that entrance and probably we will get a key so down there is a little um, cave and there are some people in it simply kill them just punch them in the face and then you will get some examples of the riffle, the flintlock riffle itself and some pieces that you can put on the end of the riffle itself which is the bayonet and there are three different models of it actually two one is a little bit larger it's the only difference and there is the, the riffle balls which is the ammunition uh, here are the three model models for the bayonet that you can put on the end and actually it should add bleeding damage you can all craft that at the forge like you saw for, um, of course the flint rock riffle itself doesn't seem to be too strong and I don't have Skyrim read on activated here. I don't see the bleeding damage when I'm punching with the flint rock riffle and when I'm shooting I don't see the bleeding damage either so I think it's maybe just bugged. I can't say for sure. However, in general the model of the new flint rock riffle is better, the textures are better. You can use it as well when you're riding around, which is of course pretty damn cool. And if you didn't notice it earlier, there is an animation when you're shooting with the riffle, then um, there is an animation for the riffle itself before you are reloading it. And the cool thing is that followers can use it as well, and this looks pretty damn cool when they're actually aim at the target and then they shoot and they're reloading and you can see that from the third person view. I think in the first version of the mod that didn't work, um, the animation of reloading and stuff, it looked very weird, but however it was, now it works perfectly. Going further with riffles, there is an assault riffle and submachine gun and the sniper riffle as dwarven weapons. Um, there's a mod, I don't really know. Um, uh, what shall I say? I'm not a huge fan of it, but I know that there are people out there that would really love to have a mod like this in their game. I'm not using it myself. I'm happy with the flint rock riffle that has some kind of flare, but having um, an assault riffle which is shooting super fast, you know, that doesn't really fit. <laughs> I think. However, there are two different uh, machine guns and a sniper rifle. The machine guns are doing four damage per shot and they're shooting for quite a while, I think 10 or 20 shots and then it needs to reload or if you release your mouse button then it will reload as well. The sniper rifle itself does base damage of 39 damage instead of the four but it has to reload. Um, then after one shot of course and there is for I think you just need one steel ingot to craft 100 shots for these weapons so it's kind of cheap I mean if you're shooting yourself through cities and all villages and everybody you see then it's probably kind expensive to craft all this but beside of that it's a good option beside of the normal bolts and ammunitions there's a mod right now, like you can see, which is pretty cool. Everybody of you probably knows the mod Armored to the Thief. And there's an easy version of this, um, which is actually just uh, Skyrim.ini change. And there's another mod on the Nexus, which is or says actually the same. It's not really a mod, it's just really one line that you passed in your ini file. So this is actually a thing that is implemented by Bethesda but they deactivated it by default because it could be a little bit buggy in some cases. I tested it, the thing is pretty simple. 
you make the change in your inni, then you're gonna you're gonna favorite all your weapons that you want to be shown on yourself, and then like you see here, they are shown. To use another weapon, just use the hotkey for the favorited weapon, and then you can use it. It's pretty easy. There can be some minor bugs with it, which are just visual, as far as I know. You can read that on the mod page. I'm gonna use it, it's just, I mean, how, it is so simple, it's just a line that I pass in my image, it's, it's not really, really a mod, it doesn't take away any kind of performance, it's perfect if you just want some more roleplay, and I love it to have all that weapons equipped on myself, though I'm actually just using my fists, so maybe it's not, not that fitting for me. But I really recommend to at least try this out because it's really simple and really great. I actually have another mod that I wanted to show you today but I thought I'm gonna push that to tomorrow. And I'll thank you guys for watching this episode of the Skyrim mod series. If you liked the video please give it a thumbs up, also leave a comment, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.